Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lee Quinn and welcome back to another quick tips. In this video, I'll be giving you guys a tip that makes editing your headers and your footers in Microsoft Word, especially when inserting page numbers more accessible. Have you ever tried inserting page numbers in your document and realized that all your page numbers are just saying one, 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 one? Well, I have the right fix for you. So just stay tuned for the rest of the video. Once again, I want to thank my friend Andre for helping me out by showing me this tip. But before this video begins, please be sure to like the video if you love the content and share it to others if you want to help them out as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first I need to open my document. I'm going to open a document that has in about 8 pages. Citation dash word. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line page 1 section 1 citation. Okay, great. Now, the first couple of keystrokes that I want to show you. As some of you may know, when a cited person gets on their Word document, if they wanted to edit the header or the footer, they will just double click on the extreme top or extreme bottom of their page in order to enter into the header or footer section. But we are using our keyboard. So there are two ways in which you can go about doing each of those options. The first way, which is the long way, is by going into the menu. So you would press Alt, then right arrow over to insert, and then tab through that menu till you get to header or until you get to footer, depending on which one you want to edit. Then you would down arrow until you get to either edit header or edit footer and then you would press enter but there's a shorter way to do it if you wanted to edit your header or get into the header section you would press alt n which is a shortcut key for the insert menu then h then e as in egg so let's do that ribbon tabs tab control expand e microsoft word document edit multi-line primary header frame page one section one and there we go and if you wanted to do it for the footer, you'd have to press Alt N, then O, then E as in egg. Now, if you wanted to exit back out of this section, you can either use your escape key or you can go the longer route by pressing Alt to go into the menu. Ribbon tabs tab control expanded. Header and footer tools grouping. Then tabbing through this tab until you get to what I think is the last option, which is close. Now let's exit out of this. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line primary header frame page one section. Then I can press escape to exit from my header. And it doesn't say anything when you press escape. But if I should do insert plus tab to see what I'm on. Microsoft Word document edit focused multi-line out of frame citation. There we go. So I'm on the first line, which is citation. Now let's get into the meat of the matter inserting page numbers so now i want to insert my page number in my header so what i'll do is to press alt ribbon tabs tab control expanded home tab selected alt h2 of 10 then i would write arrow to my insert insert tab selected alt and 3 of 10 then i will tab until i get to page numbers page number collapse number the pages in your document okay then i would press enter top of page collapsed alt n n u t then I want it to be in my header, so yes, I'm going to select the top of page option. But if you wanted it to be in your footer, you would simply down arrow. Bottom of page collapsed alt, n, n, u, b. And select that option. But let me go back up to top of page. Top of page. Then press enter. Top of page list. Simple grouping. Plain number one not selected number with no formatting or accents one of. Then let me down arrow and say select the third option. Plain, plain number three. Then press enter. Citation dash word. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line primary header frame page 1 section 1 1. And there we go. Now there are two ways to be able to navigate between your different headers or your different footers. You can either do it the long way by pressing escape to come out of the header menu and then going down to the desired page and then pressing the keystroke to open the edit header or edit footer. Or you can just use your up and down arrows. So. I am currently on the header on page 1. If I should press my down arrow a couple of times, it will bring me down to the footer of page 1. Then if I continue pressing my down arrow, it will bring me down to the header of page 2. Let me show you. Blank. Out of frame primary footer frame. Out of frame primary header frame 1. There we go. Now look. 1. There. That is our issue. 
page two shouldn't be saying one. Now this is the issue I had and I couldn't solve the problem until my friend Andre showed me this awesome tip. Now what is happening here is that NVDA isn't correctly reporting to us what is actually there because the page two is actually there but NVDA is just not telling us but there is a way for NVDA to tell us that is actually there. And I recommend using this option that I'm about to show you when doing all your editing to your headers and your footers, whether it be page numbers or putting in name or anything at all that you're going to be doing when editing your headers and your footers. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is to activate the Microsoft UI automation for Microsoft Word. So the way to do that is by going into the NVDA menu and the advanced settings. So first, you would press your NVDA key plus your N to open the menu. NVDA menu. Then down arrow to preferences. Preferences sub menu P. Then press enter. Settings. S. Then press enter on settings. NVDA settings colon. Then you can either down arrow to advanced or you can use first letter navigation which would be A. A. Advanced 13 of 14. Then you would tab through this list. Advanced property page warning. The following settings are for advanced users. Changing them may cause NVDA to function incorrectly. Please only change these if you know what you are doing or have been specifically instructed by NVDA developers. I understand that changing these settings may cause NVDA to function incorrectly. Checkbox not checked. Please make sure to check this checkbox before you continue tabbing. Space. Check. So continue tabbing until I get to the option that I want. Restore default NVDA Microsoft UI Automation Grouping. Enable selective registration for UI automation events and property changes checkbox not checked alt plus s. Okay, so this is not the option that I want. The option that I want is right after this. So I'll press tab one more time. Use UI automation to access Microsoft Word document controls when available checkbox not checked alt plus w. Then I'll check this with my space bar. Space. Checked. Then tap all the way down to OK and press Enter. Use, use, speed, you, term, diff, speed, edit, a, deep, OK button, citation dash word, document, header dash section one dash edit two. And there we go. You realize that it's saying two just as it should. And if I should down arrow to the third page. Blank, blank, three, header dash section one dash edit three. There we go. Now there are a couple more things that I want to show you before I end this video. If you wanted to change the formatting of your page numbers, say for instance, you don't want it to be saying one, two, three, but you want it to be in Roman numerals instead or letters like ABC. This is how you would do it. You'd press your alt to go into your menu. Ribbon tabs tab control expanded. Header and footer tools grouping. Design tab selected alt, Y, JH 11 of 11. Then you can tab to page numbers in here. Design group, footer collapse, page number collapsed number the pages in your document. Then, you'd press enter. Top of page collapsed alt, JH. Then, down arrow to format. Bottom of, page mark, current, format page number. Then, press enter. Page number format dialog page numbering. Number format colon, combo box 1, 2, 3, alt plus F. Then, to be able to edit this option and change it to Roman numerals, or ABC, whichever one you want, you would press your down arrow until you get to the desired option. Number format colon A, A, I, 2, 3. Okay, so I want to change it to Roman numerals. So I'm gonna leave it at that selection and then tab away for it to be selected. Include chapter number check. Then I can tab all the way from here down to my OK. Continue, start at OK button. Then press enter. Citation dash word, document, header dash section one dash edit I. And there you go, it changes it from 1 to I. And if I should down arrow to page 2? Blank, blank, 2. Header dash section 1 dash edit 2. It says 2, but if I should read it by character? I, I. And there we go. Now, before we end this video, I want to show you what happens when I turn off that option in the NVDA menu. By the way, I really recommend only keeping on this option when you're editing your headers and your footers in Word. I'm not really sure what else this option could help with in Microsoft Word, but you can use it specifically for your headers and your footers. And there's an easy way to do this. You can actually create a NVIDIA configuration profile just for this Microsoft UA option. And 
You can learn how to do that by checking out my video on configuration profiles. You can find it in my list of videos or I can also drop a link down below in the description. Now, let me enter into my NVDA menu. NVDA menu, preferences sub, settings, NVDA settings, advanced 13 of 14, advanced property page warning, space, checked, restore, NV, Microsoft UI automation grouping. Enables, use UI automation to access Microsoft Word, space, not checked. So I unchecked it, then I'll tap to OK. Use, use, speak, use, terminal, diff out, speech, editable, debug, OK button. Then press enter. Citation dash word, Microsoft Word document edit multi-line primary header frame I. You realize that it goes back to saying I, but don't worry, your regular numbering is still there. It's just that NVDA is not reporting it to you. So in order to be able to see what is actually there, just switch into your Microsoft UIA mode and you'll be good to go. And don't forget to turn it off when you're finished. Well. That's it for this video guys and thanks again for watching. Be sure to share this tip with your friends and to like the video if you love the content. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time with the next quick tip.